Good morning, people of the internet. Today is Monday, and it's my last first day of law school. It's crazy that the time has flown by so quickly. But I also feel like I've learned and grown. Grown? Wow. About to graduate law school in a couple months, and I don't know the correct verb tense. Verb. Blur. Blur. I need more coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh. When I'm about to hop into the shower, I'm not gonna wash my hair and just throw it up in a bun so I wouldn't get it wet. I thought I would show you guys my routine in the morning while we get ready. Gonna do a little bit of makeup today, uh, but we gotta do it quick because I still haven't done my remedies homework for today and I start work <laughs> uh, relatively soon-ish. I like to start at about 10 and it's 8.38. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go into hyperdrive basically. That's what's going on. Okay, shower time. Okay. So in the shower, I used a bar of soap from Lush um, to wash my body, but it's like in this exfoliating thing, so I'm not gonna take it out and show you guys. It's like a lavender one. And then I also washed my face with this hydrating facial cleanser from CeraVe. And then I just toweled off and used CeraVe moisturizing cream, this Tom's long-lasting deodorant. Now I'm going to brush my teeth. Got this electric toothbrush for Christmas and it's literally changed my life. My teeth have never felt cleaner than when I used this thing. And then I used some mouthwash. Okay. Next, I got this um, Smile Direct Club tea pointer for Christmas. So I just put this gel all over my front teeth, like that, and then the on on teeth. It also club, plugged in my straightener, so my straightener is heating up while detaching. And now that they're all foaming, <laughs> I take this little tea whitening tray thing, put that in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't talk with the fan out. You take this, put it in this, which then pop it into your phone in five minutes. kind of stuff is a little gross, but you just spit out whatever's left over. You don't rinse out your mouth. I just do like a quick cleanse of the little uh, tray. And then pop that back into its container. So cool how it's like, it plugs right into your phone. It has like three little connecting pieces. So if you have Apple or Android, it'll work. And one of the connecting pieces goes into a USB thing. So you can like plug it into a block that goes in the wall. And then I have to set a timer for 30 minutes because you can't eat or drink anything after whitening. Now that I put on my serums, I'm gonna put on a moisturizer. This is the same moisturizing cream that I put all over my body. It's the CeraVe moisturizing cream. And I only realized it was the same as the thing I've been using on my body, which is in a different container. Like today, when I was looking at the two products, I was like, oh, this is the exact same thing. And then usually I put on this gel eye cream um, if I don't wear makeup, but I am going to put on a little bit of under eye stuff today. <laughs> a little bit of Aquaphor on the lips. And just need to wait for this moisturizer to set a little bit before I put on some SPF. But I'll get my makeup out and show you guys what makeup I will be wearing. I use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and Urban Decay Powder 
eyeshadow in the color Beware. I just use an angle brush and I fill in my brows. So it's really straightforward. I'm not going to do a full face. I'm just going to, you know, cover up these, these slip circles and make my facial hair a little bit more pronounced. I hate calling it facial hair. It's so weird. I'm going to put on this Purito sunscreen. I know there was like a scandal that came out with Purito recently that the SPF isn't as strong as the container. The bottle says it is. I also use a lot. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> it's the best sunscreen I've found so far. I'm not planning on going outside for long periods of time today. And the fact that I'm protecting my skin, even if it is only 15, 25 SPF instead of 50 is better than nothing. I actually put way too much on. I usually put on a lot, but this is way too much. <laughs> it does give a little bit of a white gas if you put on too much. I might be a pale girl today. If I had any active pimples or acne scarring that bothered me more than that one does, I covered that up too, but I just don't feel like it today, so I'm not going to. That says, hello, I'm awake. If anyone has any tips for how to like clean a beauty blender, let a girl know because I feel like I always like half ass clean it and then it gets gross really fast. To give you guys an idea about how long this takes, we started at 8.38 and it's 9.04. So by the time I'm done, this will have taken me about a half hour. But I also hardly straighten my hair, so it does take longer if I decide to do some more makeup or to uh, straighten my hair all the way, but most days I don't do my hair or my makeup, so it actually takes less time. And then I just kind of follow the natural shape of my brows, outline it, and then kind of fill it in. Some days they're thicker than others, some days the arch is sharper than others, but they're always sisters, not twins. <laughs> I can never make them look perfect, perfect. The camera stopped recording. But what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted was that this sunscreen, when I wear it with makeup, it tends to get like kind of clumpy in certain areas. It really draws up the dry patches. And then I'm just gonna do a quick Morphe setting spray on my eyes, just to make sure it stays in place all day. But now that my Hair and makeup is done. I'm going to go and pick out an outfit. Okie dokie, so here is the outfit. I'm actually super impressed with myself because I haven't worn this shirt or these pants since I came home in October. And I'm just happy that I'm not in sweatpants today, but I probably will change it to sweatpants at some point. But this is just like a white shell top that I actually used to wear with suits all the time, you know, back in the day pre, you know, the world shutting down. So it's just this top from and Taylor, it's like kind of thicker. It's really nice. Tucked into these jeans that I got from H&M when I was abroad in Ireland. And then I have this sweater, which was my mom's. It's from Primark. It's like this gray, slightly greenish color. And then I'm wearing these cute little sunflower earrings that I got from a family member for Christmas. Ta-da! And the outfit is not complete without fuzzy socks. Yeah, this will probably end up as professional on the top. Sweatpants and fuzzy socks on the bottom, but I'm not gonna let myself get there yet. Let's just tidy up in here before we start our day. Really gonna cut it close with this homework, but should be fine. I did get an email from my professor last night saying that the homework was posted and if you weren't able to do it in time for class today, not to worry about it. But as you guys may, be able to tell. I struggle with not worrying about things. I also never make my bed this haphazardly. I forgot Mr. Winnie the Pooh. Can't wait until I can have another cup of coffee. Bought these gel plans to go with my planner. Pretty excited about them. They match like pretty much every month in my planner perfectly. And I need them because I have to go write down my remedy homework and actually do it. Okay. Gosh darn it. I'm dropping things left and right. Wakey wakey computer. So my videos are still uploading. 
I need to go to my documents, remedies, syllabus, class one. Intro to the course and compensatory damages. Page one through 15. Okay, and then on Wednesday we have page 15 through 41. Okay, so let's get this first assignment out of the way. Okay, so I just finished reading. It took me about a half hour to read through all of this. It's only 15 pages and there's only one case. There's just a lot of like introductory notes and I like to outline my notes before class and brief the case, but it is 10 o'clock and I like to start work at 10 o'clock. So I'm going to go downstairs, make the egg salad recipe that people have been asking for and pop that into the fridge. So when I have lunch, I can just take a quick break and assemble the sandwich at lunchtime. And then when I clock out for my lunch break, I'm going to type up my notes and get myself organized for class. I'm only gonna stay online for work until about 3 p.m. California time, which is six East Coast. And then I'm going to start preparing for my class, which I have at four. This is how I make my egg salad. I take a pot of cold water and fill it up so it's pretty much covering all or most of the egg. I put the top on so it'll boil faster and then I bring it to a boil. When it's done boiling, I turn off the heat and then I let it cook for eight minutes on the burner but with no heat. Okay, now that the eggs are done, I'm just going to drain the water and then I'm gonna put them in this ice bath here. Those bad boys in the ice bath to cool them down so it makes it easier to peel. And I let them sit for about five minutes. So now that the eggs are cool, cooled down, take them out of there. Get rid of the ice water. Then you peel them. So just kind of hit, hit it down. And then the shell should just come right off. There's one. Or you can kind of roll it around like that. This one's not coming off as easy, that's okay. Then we just take a spoonful of mayo, plop that down in there, and then you just mix it all up. Hit the egg, break it into small pieces, break up that egg white, mix it with the mayo, Together. And then if this was lunchtime, I would just plop this down on some toasted bread, but because I'm making it ahead of time, I'm going to put it in the fridge. While I made the egg salad, I started making my dinner, which is a Blue Apron grilled cheese recipe with mushrooms. Which I'm just putting into a Tupperware now. Pickled red onions, which are on the stove in this pot here. I sliced up the cheese for the grilled cheese. And then there's a salad with cabbage and cucumbers. So in between work and class tonight, I'm just gonna run down here, assemble the grilled cheese and eat it. And so now I'm all prepared to have a productive day with yummy meals. making a coffee. It's 10.40 and I wanted to start working at 10. Brr. But that's okay, that's fine. Because now my lunch is pretty much ready. My dinner is pretty much ready. I just have to assemble the sandwiches. Okay, let's go work now. I'll see you guys when I take a break to eat lunch and when I take a longer break to clock out. All right, I'm hungry. Let's go make some lunch. Okay, now we will assemble the egg salad sandwich. So we have the egg salad on this piece of bread and we're gonna add the romaine. Sorry, doing this with one hand. Okay, and then there is the sandwich. <laughs> this one's on the butt of a piece of bread because we need to get more bread. 
Then I'm just gonna cut that in half. Here's the finished meal with grapes, carrots, and the egg salad sandwich. Okay, so it's now officially time for me to take my lunch break. This is like my scheduled lunch break. It's like 3.14, which means it's 12.15 California time. And I'm gonna take these 30 minutes to, oh my gosh, I need to sneeze. <coughs> to get as much of my remedies homework done as possible. So I did all of the reading this morning, but now I want to outline all of my notes. So this is what it looks like so far. I outlined the chapters. So the first one just has like four different subheadings that it goes through and explains the law. And then the second one is more, this is what my notes typically look like for law school notes. So I have the chapter title, the heading title, the case name, and the case site. And then I have a short description of what the case is about with some facts that would help trigger my memory. So then when I'm compiling all of my cases in one document at the end of the semester, I can remember, oh, this is the one where I talked about compensatory damages because the Navajo Indians' horses were taken by the government and then they got money back from, they got money from the court, but then this court said they didn't calculate damages correctly. Like that triggers that in my brain. And then I'm going to type out the facts, the relief sought, procedural history, issue, rule, holding, reasoning, and conclusion in my case brief. I do like a little chart. And then this textbook has notes after the reading, um, like after the cases. So I have some notes I want to take under each of these sections. And I'm going to do that right now. I did it! I got all of my notes typed up during my lunch break. So now I'm all set to go. Basically, let me get you guys off this tripod here and I can show you. Oh my gosh, I have to charge my battery too. But this is what my notes look like now that it's all filled out. I have some notes from each of the little sections. Basically, I highlight and I write in the margins when I go through. So it's really quick for me to type up my notes. Here is my case brief and then the notes section at the end, some quick little bullets. And what I'm gonna do is save that. And then I'm going to import it into my iPad, actually, because I save everything to the cloud. And I use this app, Notability. And I actually have to create a new subject because I have my old notes from last semester. So remedies, and then you go to files. Um, this is in my documents, 3L, remedies, one. That's what I just finished. Oh, sorry, the glare is really bad. You can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, it's taking a long time to load. Okay, there it is. Create new note, import, and here it is. And then I can use this draw function to draw on my notes with my Apple Pencil, which I don't have connected right now. I can't do it with my finger. Yeah, I need my pencil. And then my favorite feature here is this microphone where you can record the audio and it syncs with your note taking. You brought me a coffee? What the heck? I feel so loved. I have like two more hours of work and then I'll be down to make dinner and then I have class tonight. Right, Holly girl? Right, the Holly you're gonna girl. Make, you're gonna make grilled cheese with her too, right? Yeah. Right. And then it, take a look at that salad, see if you want some. It's cabbage, cucumber, Dijon, and some pickled shallot juice. Well, if you want some, you can have some. You like cabbage salad. If you don't, don't worry. <laughs> uh, uh, Holly, would you like to stay? No, come on. They went to the doggy. <gasps> they had a fabulous time. They went to the dog park? They got lots of running and jumping wow. and playing and all that. It must be so nice to be... A person not working. Though I do like my job, so it's fine. I'm fine. I just, uh, I wish I could just hang out with the dogs at the dog park all day and not have any responsibilities, but the girl's got stuff to do. It is 6.51, I'm done working for the day, and now I'm going to have something to eat. I just assembled this grilled cheese with the mushrooms and pickled shallots, gouda cheese, and I think cheddar cheese. And then there's a side salad of cabbage 
and cucumbers with this like Dijon dressing. So I'm gonna have that I'm all out of breath because I was running up and down the stairs. Gonna eat this. I have class at 7.20 for an hour and 15 minutes. And then there's a lab after it, but the syllabus says that the lab doesn't meet every week, but I don't really know when it's supposed to meet and what day it's supposed to meet. So hopefully I'll get some more info about that tonight. Enjoy my food. I just found out that I got the highest grade in my legal analysis workshop class, so that's really exciting. So I'm gonna get an award for that. Yay! All right, folks, we have class in a few minutes. Is it like too much to use your ring light for class? I don't know. And the lighting is always so bad because it's at night and I'm three hours ahead. Probably that lighting. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff here that I'm gonna get rid of. I need my iPad, but I don't need my planner or these pens or any of these books. I don't have a spot for them yet, so I'm going to put them there for now. I don't need my planner. I don't need these headphones. I need my Apple Pencil. You guys, my heart is racing. They re-ranked. They re-ranked my class. They usually don't do that after the fall semester. Um, I'm only one semester away from graduating, so I graduate in the top 10%. I'll graduate, or the top 15% and graduate with honors. If I graduate in the top 10% and graduate with better honors than top five. Holy sh**. Wow. Wow, okay. Well, I'm in the top 10% of my class now, which is pretty cool. All looks good. The problem is that, what was I gonna say? is that I don't have a Zoom. The problem is that I have class in four minutes and I don't have a Zoom link. If I go to courses, this is remedies, Zoom, today, join. All right, time for class. Amazing. My class is over. It was really chill. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's 8.41 p.m. I'm just really sleepy now. Okay, well, this is where I leave you folks. <sighs> I'm going to clock out now. What? I don't need to clock out. <laughs> I need to just start everything off and go to bed. I'm going to sleep now. I'm going to wash my face, brush my teeth, climb into bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.